Joel, well, how was uh, the best practice you ever saw for the first day of practice? Was, it, was there a certain intensity that you was, was there a ton of bumps for that? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, man, everybody was locked in. Uh, you know, uh, everybody followed what we're supposed to do. And when we played, there was a, a different intensity. Uh, so it was fun. What was it like for you seeing? Uh, I didn't call it talk about seeing how in these colors in here practice. What was that like? It was good. Uh, that's a guy, you know, I've had a lot of bottles. The games, um, this is a great pull. Uh, you know, we talked a lot, trying to figure it out, you know, how to play together. And uh, the coaches that, that I'm sure they're also going to do a good job on, you know, having us on the court together, uh, trying to make sure uh, we kind of understand the spacing because uh, it's not really a stretch for. Uh, so, but it's cool. Like, I can learn a lot from them. Joel, you talked a lot about JJ and the recognition that you guys had, the partnership you had over the last couple of years. What's it going to look like with Josh out there? How is it different? How is the offense going to work? It's different, uh, but Josh brings something different than JJ. Obviously, JJ with the crazy shots and, you know, off-balance threes and all that stuff, but she got Josh, uh, we can, who can, who's more athletic than JJ, uh, you know, especially when it comes to, like, back-cutting and neutral lobs and or him just turning the corner the corner and attacking the defender. Uh, I think in that sense uh, he can do he can do that better than JJ. Uh, but obviously we lose a lot of the shooting, especially me, uh, the connection we have with his back screen, me screening for him, him screening for me. But I'm going I'm going to get Josh uh, on pace, uh, and I'm gonna uh, teach him how uh, we should play, especially. With the action I've been running since JJ got here, uh, I'm sure Josh is going to be another one. You think he can play that like that DHL yeah, game, that, yeah, that foul sure. line extension? For sure, he's so athletic and he's uh, he's intelligent. Uh, we're going to figure it out. With you guys actually out there together today, did it feel big? Did you guys feel as big as you appeared? Oh yes, especially the starting lineup. Uh, I mean, the shortest guy is about six six, and we're going to be big. Uh, going to be a lot of bully ball, uh, and I'm excited about it. Ben mentioned yesterday that you guys, you know, your relationship's really been growing stronger because of your desire to win. Yeah. How far have you guys come from when he first got here until now with your relationship and your bond with the court? I think it's always been the same. Uh, nothing that was ever uh, any different than, uh, than it is right now. We're both different. Uh, he's a great guy. He works hard, extremely hard. Uh, and then we're different, you know, I just, I'm a, I'm the type of guy, you know, I just like stay home, play video games, hang out with my girlfriend or my dog, so that's what I want to do, just get in the gym, and uh, so like we, and I don't like to do any, anything else, but you know, when we get on the court, it's just different. Uh, I know it's extremely competitive, everybody knows that about me, and we both want to win, and we see what we can accomplish in the future, and uh, you know, that's a, and it kind of pushes us harder. Now, you said yesterday you were supposed to focus on rehabbing this summer and get out of the court that much. So today, how are you feeling? Actually getting some running and some scrimmages and all that? It was good. Mm, obviously, it's going to take some time to you know get back on track and you know get back to the flow of the game um, because of uh, limited action during the summer. But it was good. I felt good. Mm. They kind of limited, the, uh, limited me a little bit, but I felt great. Brett Brown said he didn't even notice your new hairdo. Do you believe that? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, we that's what, that's good because we focus on winning the championship. That's all we care about. And uh, I don't think we should focus on anybody else. Or does he have a new hairline? Or it doesn't matter. <laughs> you know, everybody's kind of talking about how great you guys can beat defensively. But what about offensively? What are you excited about this team right now? Um, it's gonna be fun because we gotta figure it out. Uh, you know, I gotta take my game to the next level because when you lose, like a guy like JJ or Jimmy, uh, you lose a lot of shooting and you know uh, four quarter offense. Uh, so it's on me to step up and figure it out. But as a group, I'm sure we're gonna do a great job. We're gonna figure it out. Is passing out of double teams something you can work on during the summer? Is that kind of 
you have to get in the camp with your teammates to kind of work on it? You got to get in the game, uh, but uh, I feel like it's related to my ball handling. And, uh, you know, if you can handle the ball better, uh, it makes you feel comfortable. And that's what I worked on the whole summer. So uh, I should be better in that sense. Uh, but, I mean, when you have a high usage, uh, you're going to turn the ball over sometimes. So sometimes you're not going to turn the ball over. Sometimes it's going to be a loss. So you just got to play. Uh, you just got to be patient and play my game and not force anything. You talked about two on, more Zach, guys, two on more. Zach Lowe's podcast about how you're going to try to back off the trash talk a little bit. What is the uh, reason behind that? Um, uh, I just want to play basketball. And uh, I don't know, I just want to play basketball. I mean, that's what I say now, but I mean, it's fun. <laughs> trash talking is fun. Uh, a lot of people see it as like a bad thing, um, but it's just fun. Like. Especially for me, uh, I kind of need that extra motivation sometimes. And, you know, before, you know, getting into a game, playing against a guy that people might say that is better than me or uh, doesn't matter who, as a big man or anybody else, as a guard, if they say that they're better than me, I just feel like I got I to gotta show people that I'm better than them too. So, I don't know. We're going to see. We're going to see how the season goes. Thanks, Thank you. Thanks, 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 Thanks. Thanks.